Hey, it's Matt. Welcome back to the Accelerated Learning Center. Today I'm going to show you how you can manage your inventory, i.e. products, in Practice Perfect. Let's get started. Step 1. If your clinic sells clinical products, then you're in luck. Practice Perfect features a special section specifically for controlling your inventory. Your inventory items are treated just like your other fee codes, except that they are products and not services. Begin by selecting Housekeeping, Financial, and then Fee Codes from the menu bar at the top of your screen. Press the green plus sign to create a new fee code. Aside from the code and the description, the key fields that must be set up are the Product checkbox. Clicking this will enable the Inventory tab. The rate must be set to per item. Generally, products are set up with a default quantity of one and the rate is set to a dollar amount of per item. Don't forget to check off the fee chargeable to client only if payers don't usually cover the cost of this product. Step two, now let's take a look at the inventory tab. This tab is where you can set up some details regarding the cost price, being the amount that your facility pays for the product. Then choose a supplier. The options contained in this list are taken directly from your list of other contacts. Lastly, input the minimum quantity before reordering and the amount that you will be ordering from your supplier once the minimum quantity has been reached. Please note that the values entered in these fields do not affect stock levels. They may only be changed through inventory adjustments discussed in the next step and sales. However, it's necessary to enter your initial stock levels by way of inventory adjustment. Step 3. Inventory adjustments may be necessary when your stock levels change in any way other than an actual sale. This can be the result of an incoming order or slippage. But before doing that, we must first define our inventory adjustment types. Select Housekeeping, Inventory, and then Inventory Adjustment Types from the menu bar. To add a new type, press the green plus sign and input a code and a description. Examples of an inventory adjustment type include damaged, used during treatment, giveaways, incoming order, etc. Step 4. Now that you've created your inventory adjustment types, I'm going to show you how to perform one. Select Actions and then Inventory Adjustment from the menu bar. This is a comprehensive list of all the inventory adjustments that you've performed to date. To enter a new adjustment, press the green plus sign. The following panel will appear. First select the product. The products listed here are limited to the fee codes for which you've checked off product. Then select the service location to which this inventory adjustment applies. Input the adjustment date. It will always default to today's date. Select the adjustment type. Identify whether the adjustment pertains to stock coming in or out of your facility. Input the quantity of the product that you're adjusting. And lastly, write out any additional information about the adjustment in the comments section. Click OK to save the inventory adjustment and apply those changes to your stock. You'll always be able to see the specific user who entered the adjustment in the rightmost column. Step 5. Now I'm going to show you how to enter a charge for a product. It's actually a lot like entering a charge for a new treatment. As such, select a patient and click New Treatment on the function bar. Select your product in the Fee Item field, then enter the quantity below. Note that if you've selected Per Item in the Rate field, the amount in the Splitting section will be updated automatically if you have set up Per Item Pricing. Furthermore, your quantity on hand will be reduced accordingly. Step 6. There are two reports related to your inventory in Practice Perfect. They can be accessed at any time by selecting Reports, Inventory, and then making your selection as follows. The Inventory Listing Report will give you a comprehensive overview of your stock levels for all of your products. Under Details, check off the following option if you'd like to see items below the minimum quantity level, as defined in the Fee Code Detail view. Under Show Options, choose whether you'd like to see products associated with a specific fee type, supplier, or location. Click Preview to see a sample of your report. The Fee Code and Description column identify the product. 
The quantity on hand tells you how much you have in stock currently. The cost tells you the unit cost of the item and the total value is the total value of the stock on hand based on that unit cost. Meanwhile, the sell column tells you how much you charge for each item and unit profit column shows you how much money you make per sale. Lastly, the minimum quantity, reorder quantity, and supplier columns provide some more details about the ordering of the product. The inventory adjustment report works a little differently and it's used to track the flow of inventory. Begin by entering a date range in the adjustment date from field. It will always default to today's date. Under Show Options, you can choose whether you'd like to see adjustments for a specific product, adjustment type, supplier, or location. Click Preview to see a sample of your report. The Fee Code column identifies the product in question. The Date of Adjustment tells you when the adjustment was made. Stock tells you whether the product was coming in or going out. The Adjust Quantity tells you how much stock is affected by this adjustment. The transaction value shows you the monetary value attached to the adjustment. The location tells you which clinic location this adjustment is relevant to. And the comment section may contain more information about the adjustment. Lastly, the user tells you which user entered the adjustment. Well that's all for now. Be sure to like or leave a comment under this video if you found this helpful. Bye for now.